party people! Hello! It's Randy for Thunder Horse Descendant. Today I'm here to talk about the found objects challenge. So here's the, I'm just gonna, here's what the found objects challenge is because we're also gonna work on my found objects challenge and we're gonna need a little time for that. So anyway, moral of the story is what you need for the found objects challenge is on July 6th, on July 6th at about 8.30 p.m. Central Time, the new bags, the new found objects challenge bags are going to drop. The challenge bags are $5. That's how much it costs to get in. You are going to get a mix of beads and other jewelry components. They are not new. These are for repurposing, they are for harvesting, or they have been harvested by other handmade makers who are selling on Etsy and eBay. And me and Shannon put these kind of things together and we kind of, you know, find some things that we maybe might go together and we ship them over to you, okay? So for five bucks, you're gonna get this shipment and what you're expected to do for the Found Objects Challenge is to take your items, make something, it can be whatever you want, you can add whatever you want to it. If you wanna add your own beads, your own findings, your own whatever, you can do that. Easy peasy, not a whole lot of rules going on with that. Um, and then you post pictures in the Facebook group, the Thunder Horse Descendant Facebook group, which all of this will be linked down below in the description. So make sure you go down there to the description. Okay. While you're down there, give this video a like, give it a thumbs up, give it a subscribe so you know where to find me. And you're going to check out the Facebook group. Okay. And um, basically what everybody's been doing the last couple of months, if you've been hearing about the found objects challenge and you're like, what is it? So you get your bag, you make your you make your items. You have a month to do it, okay? And you post your your uh, before and after photos or whatever photos your ongoing project photos in the group, um, so people can see what you're doing, what you're making, how it's going, you know, all that good business. And you're gonna tag once you're completed. You're gonna tag uh, Found Objects Challenge, and you're gonna tag Randy Brown. So that's all you have to do. It's a, it's not a judged contest. It is a, it's randomly generated. If you want to come to the live on Facebook on July 6th before the, um, before the bags post, we are going to be announcing the winner of the last challenge. So this might be a good opportunity for you to come to see, you know, just come to the live and see the prize that we're giving away. So the prize that we're giving away is usually $50 worth of uh, stuff from Taylor's Falls Beat Store. It's usually a book of some kind and whatever other little odds and end trinkets that I want to throw in. So I will show the prize and then we will, I'll show you the generate generator of who the winner is. We'll announce the winner and then I will launch the new bags for July on my website, which is www.thunderhorse-descendant.com. Okay, so that's where you can purchase them. Also going to be in the description box. So that's kind of the goings-ons with it. It's super fun. People have been enjoying it a lot. Uh, if you want to give it a whirl for five bucks, it's people have been getting all kinds of um, projects out of the bags. It's just amazing. It's just amazing what people have been basically taking nothing and making it into something, which is amazing, which is art. That's what it is. I'm so excited. I get so excited every time I see some postings come out or whatever, and especially for people who are, you know, maybe it's a little bit out of their comfort zone, but they're doing it anyway, and it's like, it's really fun. So uh, it's a great community. I invite you all to come join the Facebook group get involved with the Found Objects Challenge. I think it's gonna be something that we're gonna to continue to do because people seem to really like it a lot. So yeah, everybody's invited. With that being said, <laughs> I am going to work on my Found Objects. We had opened this on Morning Coffee. We also discussed our 
um, found object challenges on morning coffee on YouTube chat every morning. Well, not every morning, but a lot of times at 9, 9 a.m. So if you want to come and participate in that too, super good. I unboxed this. I drew um, one of my own bags out. I'm not, um, I just said that I would do an example of a bag for a YouTube video, so that's what I'm doing. But, uh, yeah, so we're going to do that, and then after that, I'm going to show you finished product photos, and I'm also going to show you all the photos that we've collected from the Thunder Horse descendants who were so nice to send their before and after photos of the things they're making. So we're going to put all those at the end of the video. So without further ado, let's get on down to the mat and work on some found objects.
Okay guys, I think we got it. Right when I was gonna show you, I I looked at this link that we had connecting right here, connecting the two pieces of the beaded two beads, and I was like, oh that needs a charm, and it needs to be in the front. So this is longer, so I'm going to double it up so I can get it all on the necklace form here. But basically, this is what we got, you guys, and I really like it a lot. Here's the pendant. With all these little charms. They go in the front and the back they move around and then I just stuck this guy up here super cute I really like this a lot this is right up my alley I'm gonna keep it for myself so I know this is not at all what we talked about on morning coffee um but you know sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do I know it doesn't probably look great with my do what my want cat shirt but I would definitely wear it with a dress or with, you know, something, some kind of little outfit. Shorts. Probably wear it with my Johnny Cash t-shirt, honestly. <laughs> so, that's the goings-ons with that. And you guys, honestly, we have so many beads left from this one package um, that I randomly drew, by the way. Um... Yeah, I could probably make lots more projects with this. So, I know that um, a lot of the people have been making numerous projects. So, at the very least, I will say it is a good value if you want to go ahead and give the Found Objects Challenge, whoa, a try. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I just am going to kind of leave everything in it so you can see the, just the kind of, this is the design process for me. I'm sure it's similar maybe for you. Maybe you're a little more organized, you know. But uh, this is how I do it. So I just wanted to share with you guys the real deal, like making something out of nothing. Oh, here comes Mr. Bunsen for the real deal. Maybe he's going to say hello. I can see his ears. What are you doing? You know you're not supposed to be on the beating table. Do you want to say hello to the people? Say hello, people. Say it's 4th of July and I'm kind of scared. Don't know about all this business. <laughs> it's my supervisor, Mr. Bunsen. He supervises all things. And he's been kind of angry with me recently. <laughs> I don't know why. I give him everything he wants. Take it down with you. <sighs> Alright guys, well, I hope you enjoy this video and I hope you will stick around. We're going to roll some of that, uh, so I was going to say roll some of that uh, wonderful pictures that everybody sent us and just doing before and after shots of stuff that people got in their grab bag. So I'm super excited. I hope you'll come again and you'll join us on the 6th of July to when we launch the new bags. I think it's going to be great. So I'll talk to you guys later.
I forgot to tell you, please subscribe to my videos and don't forget to leave a like, thumbs up, like my video and make sure that you leave me a comment and let me know if you plan on joining us for the next challenge so I know how many bags to make. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.